Well, I, uh, I had this whole funny intro planned, but, um, as you can see, I fell in the void. Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. Today we are on the Hypixel Alpha with a brand new Dragons update. I don't think anyone expected this, but here we are, Dragons update in 2024. But there's a lot of other stuff that got added with this. We'll see if they make it to the main server, but we're going to explore the whole thing right here, right now. So leave a like, subscribe, and let's jump into it. All right, so as you can see, we have new dragon content, updated tab list, and more. So if we warp into Skyblock, go ahead and talk to Centauri here. We can check out the featured update items, which are the Awakened Summoning Eye, the Primal Dragon Egg, a whole new dragon set called Primal Dragon Armor, the new Blade of Dragonfire, a General's Medallion, and the Architect's First Draft. So let's start off with the Awakened Summoning Eye. If we look at recipe awaken summoning eye you can see the recipe requires eight regular summoning eyes and two null ovoids and if we work over to the end you can see that whenever these are placed it spawns three dragons and it'll say in the chat what kind of dragons it spawned so this one actually spawned four dragons so it spawned a strong dragon a young dragon actually two young dragons and a protector dragon. And after they've all been downed, all the loot will spawn in one location. So you can see we got wise frags. I think that was there. We got young frags. We got strong frags. And now they're placing again. But see, the egg is red. So that means we're going to get at least one strong dragon. If it's white, it means you're getting a young dragon. And I'm not sure about old and protector dragon colors. I'm guessing the wise means it's going to be blue but this one is black so maybe oh nope it changed to blue so it looks like we're getting a wise and two wises in an unstable in that one so of course the dragons don't all spawn in the same location it seems like one spawns from the egg and then the others will spawn on different sides of the arena down here and this one only spawned a wise and a young so I'm not sure what the maximum amount of dragons that it can spawn is, but it appears to be anywhere between two and four so far. I'm not sure if it can get up to five or maybe even eight, but you have a chance when spawning these to spawn the brand new primal dragon. I'm not sure how rare it is, but I haven't seen one yet. And there's an orange, so old dragons are from orange, it appears. That one was orange. I'm guessing it's going to be the color that they appear in the chat here. So bad to bet protectors are gray. I don't know about superiors or primals though. And the servers are definitely not handling this well. So hopefully they can figure out some performance changes to make this not be such an issue. <laughs> and uh, visually it is very wild whenever there's like four dead dragons on the screen. It gets so bright like it was there for a second. But if you use the primal recipe, you can see the same recipe it's just the same as every other dragon recipe for each piece you're gonna need 240 total primal dragon fragments to make this set and i would guess that it probably works the same as normal when spawning it oh there's a superior but if i had to bet it works the same as regular dragon eyes with you have to place ever how many to get a chance at actually dropping an armor piece but then there is a chance that this happened so this is called a dragon rush. So if a dragon rush happens, then there's waves of dragons. So we killed those two dragons, strong dragon and old dragon, and that ended the first wave. But then wave two starts, and that's two more dragons. So we got an old and a protector dragon. And after you kill those, the wave ends. Wave three begins, two more dragons. In this case, it's a wise and an old. Wave four begins, an unstable and a strong. And then there's wave five with an unstable and two protector dragons. So this of course gives a ton of dragon bestiary, but after all the waves are over, it doesn't guarantee a primal spawn still. Of course, if you spawn a rush, you've got a higher chance of a primal spawn because you're spawning more dragons. But again, it's still not guaranteed that you spawn a primal. So I just tried to place a regular eye and it says you can only place an awakened summoning eye here. So I'm guessing if somebody places one awakened, you can only place awakened with it so you can't split it up unfortunately in my opinion it would have been a lot nicer way to do this at least for your purse to do kind of like arachnes crystals where you only place one awakened eye and it will spawn the dragons just like that because summoning eyes are already expensive but now they've literally doubled in price on the main server already and the update isn't even out yet but i think that's enough dragons for now you get the gist let's actually talk about the armor 
So of course, from these Primal Dragons, if you helped spawn it, you have a chance to get the Primal Dragon armor. Now I have three digits on this armor. You can see the full set bonus increases the armor stats by 20% for each digit of your dragon kills. So if you haven't helped kill 100 yet, you'll have 40% if you're at 99 or 10, somewhere in between there. If you have less than 10, you'll be at 20%. But if you have over 100, you're at 60%, over 1,000, 80%. And I would guess that it would cap at 10,000 because 100,000 is a little crazy. But you can see with 60% set bonus, it currently gives Magic Find 5. So if we pop the whole set on real quick, it doesn't look too crazy except for that magic find. So again, if you can get a decent amount of dragon kills, like over a thousand, this is the new best magic find set in the game. My renowned sorrow, which was formerly the best magic find set in the game, gives five and that's it. No buffs other than renowned. Whereas this set gives buffs based on your dragon kills. So if you have over a thousand dragon kills, this set is better than Sorrow for Magic Find. Now, it still doesn't beat out Superior as far as Pet Luck goes, but as far as Magic Find is concerned, this is the new best set in the game. It does as well come with a new sword, so I'm guessing this sword also drops off of the Primal Dragons, but it's basically a buffed aspect of the Dragons. The normal AOTD does 225 damage, whereas this one does 250, so it's slightly better, but nothing too crazy. It does go in Museum, and so does the new armor set. But again, that's not all that was added to this update. If you've already seen the tab list update, then this won't be a surprise. They made a couple changes to it. If you do slash widgets, you can see which widgets you have enabled. So you can decide to turn off a few that you don't like. So for example, I don't want to see fire sales. I can turn that off, but I would like to see how much essence I have. I can turn that on. And you can also preview what it looks like right here at the top. And so the top left widget will be mainly for online players. But if you don't want to see who's in your lobby, you can enable the third column and then put whatever information you want over there instead of the players. But again, they've got a ton of different widgets here. And you can customize which ones are enabled on which islands as well. So let's say you're pelt grinding. You can enable the trapper widget, which shows your current amount of pelts. And if you want that to stand out a little more, you can disable some of these other ones. Like let's go with the profile widget. We don't need to see that right now. I don't need to see my pet either. Now well, let's just turn everything off. Turn it off everything except for trapper and general info. So if we press tab, it only shows our trapper widget as well as the general info which is always enabled but you can edit what it shows so if you don't want it to show the fairy souls because either you've gotten all of them or you just don't care you can disable it there and then it won't show that part anymore now i'm not going to go over that part too in depth because that is actively being updated and it may be very different when it comes out on the main server so i will make a second part to this video when everything is actually on the main server just to say everything that's a little bit different from the way it was on alpha but there were a few new items in centauri that we haven't talked about yet so let's talk about the general's medallion it increases the base stats of your dungeon items by one percent while in the catacombs for each digit on your secret count which maxes out at seven percent so if you've done over one million secrets then it will max out then this is a dungeon accessory so of course it will go in your accessory bag and they are going to add an actual secret count for your profile so this will update for the apis as well in the future which will be really nice but you can actually find this in a room in dungeons there's an npc named zod who will sell it to you i'm not sure how rare he is or how difficult he'll be to find but this is definitely an accessory that you want now the other item is the architect's first draft which resets a puzzle room so this will be pretty interesting for my fellow dungeon throwers so if you accidentally shoot the blaze in the wrong order or you completely destroy the boulder puzzle, you can actually just reset this here instead of having to restart the whole run. I'm not sure how you acquire this. It's not in recipes, so I'm guessing it's probably bought from someone. Maybe it's in dungeons. Maybe there's an NPC that you can buy it from in there, kind of like how you can buy revive stones from certain NPCs. But at the moment, I'm really not sure. Now, there are actually a ton of pet changes introduced in this update, so a bunch of pets got buffed. So we're going to test out a couple of them here real quick. We're going to run Berserker because one of the pets that got buffed is actually the Draft Pet. It increases your crit damage and strength for every 0.1 swing range over 3. It also increases your melee damage by 97.5%. That's because I have it at level 95. If you get up to 100, it increases it by 100% if you're more than 3 blocks away from the target. So as a Berserker in Dungeons... I have a super long range hit here. So we are using a, and we'll use our straight here. So 
with the Estrella from this range. That was 14 mil and 14 mil, 14 mil. That's with the G drag at level 125. If we swap over to the draft, 13 mil, it's, it's not crazy. That's for sure. It's not bad but it's not crazy. If we swap to, let's say, a lion, probably a better better number to go with. It's way better than lion, which is kind of wild because lion is pretty good for burrs. And I'm doing, yeah, nearly like half of the damage. So draft is actually viable if you don't have like any other options. You can definitely contend with lion and tiger. It kind of blows them out of the water, honestly. And I don't even have it at level 100, which granted my lion is a little under leveled as well. But of course, it's not going to contend with G-Drag once you've actually got it at a decent level. Mine is not at a decent level. But of course, it is definitely way better than it used to be. An actual option here, it is kind of suffering from the same issue as lion though, where it is a foraging pet. So leveling it is very much a pain and I doubt it's going to be worth to use in the main game, you know, outside of dungeons when you have better options like the lion around where you don't need to get a specific setup to run swing range. By the time you've got a giant sword, you've probably also got an ender dragon, which speaking of, if you didn't see that in here, does have a mythic version now. Unfortunately, I don't have the pet to upgrade, but the perk just upgrades your strength by I think two for each unique pet in your pets menu. So I've got almost every pet in the game. I'm running 56 unique pets out of like 60 or so. So at most you can get like 120 extra strength off of the legendary ender dragon. So I don't think it's gonna contend with G dragon any way, shape or form, but it's definitely buffed from just the regular ender dragon. They also finally fixed ghoul pet. So you actually gain combat XP against zombies when you use it and it increases the amount of souls that you can store as well as reducing their summoning costs and increasing their health. So it's still pretty useless, but it's not as useless. Golem got a buff. It has a swing range stat up here at the top now. It got a last stand perk, which reduces your damage when you're at low health. It also reduces the damage you take, but it reduces the damage that you send out as well. So kind of a mid perk in my opinion. Toss used to have a 10 second cooldown. Now it's only five seconds, so slight buff to that. They buffed the attack speed on the Hound pet, gave it a combat XP boost against wolves, but they buffed the finder perk by a ton. Now I can't really think of too many monsters that I'd like to drop their armor other than maybe a water hydra, but this is a pretty significant perk. So there are pieces like that that are actually decent. It's not a bad perk. Probably gives higher rates than running a G-Drag if you're looking for armor specifically. But again, that's a very small niche that it works in. So probably still won't be used for much, but it's something. They buffed the Megalodon by a ton, gave it some sea creature chance and ferocity, as well as fishing speed. It had a little ferocity, but they doubled the ferocity on it. And the fishing speed goes up to 40, sea creature chance goes up to 10 at level 100 and it now doubles its base stats during the fishing festival as well as increases your chance to catch sharks so it's somewhat decent to use during a fishing festival now love that they did this right after i maxed that out they also buffed the pigman pet so it now deals 50 percent extra damage to monsters level 50 and up and 75 percent to monsters level 100 and up apparently this used to be a 25 percent additive modifier that would almost never proc so now it should actually be somewhat decent so Let's actually test that out. This is us with the Pigman pet. We're not in the ideal loadout or anything, but should probably try this on something on the Crimson Isles. So if we run, for example, a lion pet, we'll swap to our mage gear. Actually, let's do blaze. We'll run blaze pet. We right click 1.9 mil, 1.9 mil. And then if we swap over to the Pigman, these guys are level 75. So the increase isn't that crazy on them. It's almost the same. It's very, very close. It's not bad for how cheap it is, but definitely doesn't compete with Blaze. Skeleton pet got a buff. The arrow damage is increased on it, but it technically got a nerf because the arrow the skeleton shoot used to bounce and now it doesn't. So honestly, kind of a nerf for skeleton. One that did get a buff though is the snowman pet, which I gotta go pick up. So it now slows enemies within a lot more blocks and makes them deal a lot less damage. So honestly, kind of a somewhat decent tank pet maybe. I don't think it's gonna stand up to Yeti or anything, but it's an option. It's way too expensive, but it's an option. Spider pet got some extra strength. It now buffs arachnid armor as well as weapons, which there's not too many of those out there. So it probably won't be that useful, but that happened. So cool. Turtle got a bunch of stat buffs. Skeleton got a bunch of stat buffs. Zombie got stat buffs as well as a cheaper craft 
requirement. So you used to have to get to Rotten Flesh level 9. They moved it down to level 6 now, so it's a lot cheaper to craft. That may actually be a good option for you bingo players. But that is everything so far that is on the alpha at the moment. So if you guys learned something, make sure to leave a like, subscribe so that whenever I do upload the video on it going on the main server, you'll know about it. And make sure to leave a comment. I will choose one random person who comments to give an F ad. Y'all have a great rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. God bless.